So Lake Talquin is a special place. It's in, near Tallahassee, Florida, just southwest of Tallahassee, Tallahassee Florida. Uh, the good thing about Lake Talquin is it's one of the few lakes in the southeast, and I don't know of any other lake in Florida that has a length limit on crappie. Uh, it's a 10 inch length limit, 25 per day uh, is the creel limit. And what that does is it affords the lake to, to continuously grow um, the younger fish. You're not, you're not just taking out everything you catch. The fish has to be 10 inches to keep. And a 10 inch fish at Lake Talquin probably weighs right now, probably weighs three quarters of a pound, maybe a little heavier than three quarters of a pound. But um, it's a really good conservation effort. And I wish a lot more lakes in the area would do the same thing. I think we'd have a lot more trophy fish in our lakes if we would go to a length limit. All right, look, look at that, Chris. Look at the detail, that's a gar. Well, he, now he, he's turned and away from us. Yeah. But you can see his, his snout and his fins and everything. We're out on Lake Talquin this morning. Beautiful Lake Talquin. It's one of the prettiest places you can fish. It's early. We're just getting here. Water temperature is 62 degrees. I'm not, is it day the first day of March? I'm not even sure. It is. It's, it's it is. March the 1st. Uh, so these fish are pushing back up into the creeks. They're in the mouth of the creek staging, getting ready to spawn. I'm excited. I haven't been a Talquin in about a year, so I'm looking forward to catching some hammers. <clears throat> oh, oh, got that one. Oh, it's a nicer fish too. It's a nice fish. It's all nice fish here. Get in here. Woo. You know, they get much bigger than that and they get in a different category. Mm. We, they get bigger than that right there and we call them Nadine. Yeah. That ain't quite Nadine. Oof. Countdown. <laughs> File one. Man. What's crazy is that the last fish you caught was so dark and this one's kind of a little bit lighter. Well, and I'll tell you probably why that is. These fish are just moving. Uh, they're, they're just moving in here. We're in 14 foot of water. That fish probably a day ago was in 25 foot of water. So the spawn is right around the corner. They're wanting to spawn. And uh, it's just getting time, it, it March the 1st, it's just getting time for them to, to do their deal. So uh, we're gonna catch fish that's really dark today and we're gonna catch some that's just moved in and, and lighter colored fish. Oh, that little one's coming to it and got it. It's not a real little one. I want to stay on those fish. Dude, these things are wild. Do you hear me? Mm. There's two big ones with it. Look at them right there. Look at those guys. I see what you're saying, but that is not a I terrible, mean, that's not a small that's not fish. That's not a terrible fish. But I want one of them. See that fireball dangling from that it. hook? I know you're telling the truth now. You didn't think I was telling you a tale, did no, you? I, I could smell the garlic on your fingers, so I knew you were using them. No oh, effect. here it comes. Oh, Ooh, look out. Woo. Rocket, rocket. Hey, you guys missed hey, it. Hey. Yesterday we were dock shooting <laughs> and I got one right here. And as you know, my nose ain't small. That that jig found it and it got me good. <laughs> he got what he was after Matter anyway. Fact, he, he got my fireball, fireball off yeah. of it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ain't that pretty? You think they're on the garlic instead of the shad today? Well, they, this is the... Uh, yeah, that's the garlic, Chuck. Yeah. garlic. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just thought I'd try it. I'll be honest with you. Anything different, you know, than than what they're these fish get a lot of pressure. Yeah. People have a hard time putting these fireballs on, but it's not that hard. Just put them between your fingers and slide the hook in there. Mm -hmm. But these fish get so much pressure. I think shad scent, garlic scent, and the added chartreuse color to it is uh is what helps. Ain't Nadine, but it's close. Oh, Ooh. these fish are so short here. Another thing about these fish in Florida, they're like hubcaps. They're short, but they are wide. So you, you guys have seen us film a lot of crappie episodes the last couple years. Uh, and it's kind of, Scott and I just had this conversation. Most of them are with Eric Cagle. We call him the slab master. He calls himself many other things, uh, but Every time we go with him, he's right on structure. He's fishing right on structure. Today, here on the Panhandle, we are not doing that. Scott and I just had this conversation. 
but these fish are not on structure at all. It's no. way, way different. Yeah, so Eric, he, he's just very fortunate to live in an area where fish are very structure oriented. And, and they don't get on, I mean, they leave the structure where he's at too, but they stay there longer. And um, it's afforded him a very good living the way those fish set up uh, all year long. But here, especially in Florida, uh, there's not, now Talquin is, is definitely different than many other lakes in Florida. A lot of Florida lakes are just natural bowls, shallow bowls, no structure whatsoever in them. But Lake Talquin has a lot of standing timber, but the fish uh, only get on that kind of st stuff just a short period of time uh, throughout the year. And most of the time, these fish are just open water fish. So we're looking for schools of fish, you know, two, threes, uh, little wolf pack schools of fish that are moving into these uh, creeks and pockets, getting ready to spawn. All right, so we're about to try an experiment here. And, and if it works, we're gonna let you guys know exactly what happened, but we're gonna pan over to Scott here. Oh, look at that, bam! Couldn't have planned that any better. Hold on, get out, trolling motor back. Oh, well, they pulling hard. Mm, springtime in Florida, and look at what we got here. Experiment worked. We'll talk to you guys about that in a second, show you exactly what it is, but first we're gonna show you this slap. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Florida, folks. Earlier in the video, you guys are gonna see Scott putting on chartreuse garlic fireballs. Well, we saw a few, uh, obviously he's got a live scope, and we saw them come in, they would, they would get close to it, but they didn't touch it, okay? Then if he took the jig and just didn't use a fireball, they did the same thing. So then Scott said, I think they want shad. Yep. And so, go ahead, Scott. Like right here, all that shad, all the little small stuff, shad. These fish are feeding on shad. So big time. Pink is shad. He put a pink crappie fireball on there and instantly the bite turned right away. Now anybody that's a, a crappie fisherman knows that crappie like two things. They like garlic and they like shad. Sometimes it's only garlic that work, sometimes it's only shad. And whether it's our scent or somebody else's, scent plays a big deal in the crappie world. Eric, watch us like that. fish are so fat they're little chunks but they are thick right oh, at the boat. Boat. look at the size of that fish oh my god that's the biggest fish of the day yeah Ooh. oh oh and she's barely hooked oh man pray say a prayer say a prayer oh my gosh say a prayer oh, no. <laughs> it won't pick her oh, no. up get in get here fish in the boat. look at that monster look at that monster that is oh. a Lake Talquin, oh. Nadine. That is Nadine. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you what I did. I've been chasing the fish for what, Chris? Like 25, 25 minutes. minutes. <laughs> I told Chris, I said, Chris, this is a freaking giant. The fish turned one time, looked at my bait. I chased it, pitched on it, changed baits three or four times, and finally just gave up on the fish, panned to the right and saw a school of fish, told Chris to get ready. That's a two pound fish, and I knew it was a good fish. But if that other one would have bit, oh my God, I don't know. That, uh, that other fish is probably two and a half or better. Look at that. But that is a nice fish. I'm using a Genco Hypersense six foot casting rod. This rod is a great rod for casting uh, 16th to 1 8th ounce jigs you know, up to 60 foot. You can efficiently cast a jig up to 60 foot. I've paired this rod with K9 six pound fluorocarbon, high vis, and high vis is just personal preference. Some people think it spooks the fish. I personally, after having live scope, don't think that the color of the line in dirtier water conditions has anything to do uh, with spooking the fish. I mean, the line color is almost non-existent. And you saw me lift, swing in that two and a quarter pound fish uh, today. So I have a whole lot of confidence in this setup. A, a lot of other guys on the National Trail use this setup. 
It's just a great setup, lightweight. You can fish with it all day long. Today's episode of Posky Outdoors comes to you from North Florida, where we're filming crappie on the panhandle for the first time. Now we're out here today with professional crappie angler, Scott Williams. He's been fishing this lake for a long, long time with him and his daddy. And let me tell you something, everybody knows there are some really nice crappie in here. Now, this lake is close to a major metropolitan area also known as Tallahassee and because of it it gets a lot of fishing pressure it's no secret to anybody you know being only about 10 miles from Tallahassee and only a few miles from Interstate 10 it's a well-known place that gets a lot of visitation and it's a phenomenal crappie fishery now we came out here and filmed this episode in the first two hours of the day and we were done and then we kind of did other things and just enjoyed ourselves but all the action came on crappie fireballs with jigs today we used the garlic to start. It wasn't as effective. Today was a shad day. And we used the pink shad crappie fireballs. And it was the hot color. And you'll also see Scott use some shad fire gel. Now, you never know what the fish are going to want. They may want shad in the morning, garlic in the afternoon. They may want no scent at all. Only the fish can tell you that. Come prepared and come out here. Get ready to catch some beautiful slabs here on the Panhandle. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.